Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, I'm Candice. I do makeup slash beauty related content here on this channel. I hope this video finds you well. So today I created this look. Silver is in and grey is adjacent. <laughs> um, and so I really wanted to create a grey look. I've been talking forever so I'm kind of losing my voice. I do apologise. Um, but I wanted to create this grey look that I won't keep you any longer. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share this video if you do end up liking it. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any content from me on here and follow me on the rest of my socials they are all c.flex without further ado i hope you enjoy this video and you learn something enjoy okay, so by now you guys should know the draw already grab a drink grab a beverage and let's get into some makeup i've already prepped and primed my skin there is a talk through skin prep video on my TikTok and my Instagram and I've also done an updated brow tutorial that should be out by the time that this is out. If not, it will come out maybe the day after or so. Yeah, let's get straight into the skin. I have a few new products. You guys know the words already. No self-control because makeup is life. Anyway, my absolute favourite primer, the only primer that I really use, to be honest. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer jumbo size absolutely love this stuff so i'm gonna go in with about four pumps rubbing it in my kiss another layer of skincare i'm just taking one more pump for my forehead I just want to quickly note that before the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, I did go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I use this as a moisturiser. I'm recording this at like 4am, so I'm not wearing SPF, but this has a little bit of SPF on it, and so this is the last thing that I put on my face before the Milk Hydro Grip. I'm going to go in and colour correct, and I'm going in with this live tinted lipstick in the shade Rise. And then I'm also going to take this Morphe V108 brush. This is from their latest Vegan Pro series. Um, I really, really love this. I went to a Tiana Taylor concert, which was absolutely phenomenal. I love this woman so, so much. So it was amazing and it was my first concert as well. Um, but I basically filmed a Get Ready With Me. I used that brush to blend out this colour corrector and it worked amazingly. The first time I tried this, I put it straight onto my face and I didn't really like how it looked. I, I do it differently now, so I basically take it onto the back of my hand. Um, like so. Um, rather than putting it directly onto my face. My Made by Mitchell mirror. Made by Mitchell actually dropped some new mirrors in like different shades and I completely missed the drop and I'm so, so upset. Mitchell, the owner, Mirror Mitchell, he said he was gonna release some more ones so I'm waiting for that to happen because this mirror, it's just like the perfect size, perfect mirror. Just going in here. And we're just working this into the areas where I have had pigmentation, which is mostly around my mouth. Okay, I'm going to try and put it on my face again and see what that looks like. So this shares out quite nicely. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more. My apologies. Um, I basically was just filming a review of this foundation. But here's a sneak peek of the review basically. This is the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation Brush. And I've just used it with the 
new, both of these are new products, the new Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation in the shade 14. This is the before and this is the after. I think I have a tendency to go darker on foundation, so I originally picked up the 14.5, but that was just a little too neutral, but yellow at the same time, it didn't really match me that well. Um, but it still works for me. I think it, in terms of like, shade wise it is very similar if not the same color as the nars natural radiant nowhere in the shade macau which is what i usually use but like i said i've realized that i have a tendency to go either a little bit more neutral thus sometimes that can come off a little bit more, um, like darker on the skin or i go too yellow um but i feel like this shade matches me really really well and i hope that is translating on camera my danessa myricks tool sigma spatula as I would normally just spreading this. So when I first applied it, it looks very light. But when you actually push it into the skin, this is what it looks like and it matches me very well. This is supposed to be um, buildable coverage basically. And that it really is. Definitely buildable coverage. And like I said, it's quite light when you apply it, but when you actually push it and bend it into the skin, amazing and remember always tapping motions i never ever swipe my foundation when you do that you risk basically picking up products that you've laid before i found this foundation to be a medium coverage but it certainly is buildable and it has such a beautiful finish it reminds me of the NARS Natural Radiant Long Wear or the NARS Light Reflecting. You guys know how much I love the NARS foundations. Um, this is my first hourglass foundation. And obviously I'm yet to do like a wear test and everything, but I think I really, really do like it. Add a little bit more coverage here on my forehead. Don't put too much on her. I've seen people put no foundation on their forehead. And I don't know about that. You're going anywhere and there's going to be flash or there's going to be lights. Boy, I would not recommend. I really would not recommend. Because that flash is going to expose you. It might look alright in real life. It might even look alright on camera in front of like lights like this for example but it's gonna look a hot mess um in certain light and especially with flash photography i'm pretty happy with that coverage and um, by the way there's still a lot more left i think the first pump that i pumped out wasn't a lot i think it was a smaller pump because i've just pumped out another pump um and I pumped out another pump prior to that and there's a lot on here so I think yeah I think when you pump out this foundation it actually pumps out quite a bit so I think two pumps should be good for like your whole face I've got a big face so I think it's fine switching the order of things up just a little bit here I'm trying something new okay so I'm going in with the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour and Bronzer cream this is in the shade medium you can see it was very well loved but i just stopped using it um randomly and i used it when i went to the tiana taylor concert and i remembered how much i loved it it's such a beautiful product and blends amazingly i've seen a couple of people use this um morphe e63 brush for their cream contour and i'm gonna give it a go so this is what the product looks like um such a gorgeous product. I don't know why I stopped using it. So I'm gonna just start here. Oh, child, there's a lot. There's a, this is a lot of product. Oops, oops. Okay. Okay, now. Oh. Um, this brush is typically for foundation. But it blends this like really, really well. And then because this brush is tapered and it has like a 
what I can do, I just literally have to do that. And I'll do the same on the other side. And it's created that nice contour line for me. I'm gonna put a little bit on my chin. I do not contour underneath my neck. I think sometimes in real life it can look a bit scary. So yeah, no, we don't do that anymore. To each their own, but I don't do that anymore. And I'm not taking it down here, I'm literally just stopping here. So I wanna keep everything lifted. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with blush and I've really been loving pink blush recently. So I'm gonna go in with this Patrick Ta blush duo in the shade She's a Doll. This is what, whoop, this is what the inside, this is what the inside looks like. You've got a cream and you've got a powder. Patrick Ta, um, he has said that you're supposed to actually go in with the powder once your face, like once you basically laid all your creams and liquid products down and you set your face. You're meant to go in with a powder and then go in with the cream on top. I have tried it, it does look really nice, but I'm going for a very matte look today. Um, so I will be going in with the cream first and then the powder once I've set my whole face. This is the Makeup by Mario F1 face brush. And I'm literally just gonna push that into the pink. And I will be putting that, there's a mirror in here so I can see what I'm doing. I will be just pressing that here. Keeping my blush basically here and here. Um, essentially where I have put my contour just before that. And I like to take a little bit of that brush here and I'll probably take a little bit on my nose and I actually like to take a little bit here and so this is what we're looking like right now Don't be afraid to go back in with the brushes that you used prior so this is what I use for my cream contour to really like blend everything in now that that is done, I think I'm actually just going to sweep a little bit of this, um, the rest of the foundation on my brush, underneath my eyes. Just to colour correct. Um, my eyes are hollow. Have I been sleeping? No, I have not. Um, so I'm going in with the ABH Magic Touch Concealer in the shade 14. Um, this is very bright, which is why... But it's not very bright, I think it's full coverage. And so when something is full coverage, sometimes it looks brighter than what it is. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. I'm gonna basically put it here and here. Just gonna actually I'm just gonna yeah. make life easier and just spread it out and I haven't dipped into any product I'm literally just using what's on this one bit that's probably a bit too much there this is the beauty blender shade shifter makeup sponge it's like 520 i'm kind of tapping out kind of tired but i'm dedicated <laughs> so we're gonna get this done um i'm just using that to basically blend out my concealer oh, i hate when that happens i really do hate when that happens
which you're going to take that same blush brush and we're going to use it to buff out the ends of the concealer like so and literally right at the edge a quarter of my brush okay look at the brush a quarter of the brush is on the concealer and the remainder of the brush is on the blush so i'm not taking my blush too high into my under eyes but at the same time i am not taking the concealer too low into the blush okay and we're actually just going to do the same here with this brush and we're just going to blend the edge of this concealer right here like so i'm going to do the same here on my nose Um, I set my face a little differently now. I like to go in with a press powder before I go in with a loose powder. Um, and I now use a powder puff. I'm a powder puff babe, but I still use my beauty blender or my makeup sponge here and there. Anyway, so I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Fullest Finish Powder in the shade number 2 medium. I'm taking this Trigwell Cosmetics um, powder puff, velvet powder puff, and we're going to use that to set the face. So you want to get your powder ready. I was, I think her name's Alia or Alia, um, she's now my mutual. You know, it's so, it's so nice when like my faves or the people that I look to for inspo or who I see as inspirational within the beauty community become my mutuals. It's so humbling and just so nice. It's so warming because it reminds me of, you know, when I really first started this and now my faves are now my mutuals, it's crazy. They're all glory be to God for how far I've come, honestly. Albeit a small content creator, I still have influence, my influence, my insights, you know, my the talent that I have, the creativity that I have, this is this is all God. I think it's very important to give our praise to the most high God, you know? Yeah, anyway, um Ali, I think that's what her name is. She reminded me of something that I should be doing anyway, and it's getting your powder ready. Rather than um waiting like blending out your eyes and then waiting to get your powder out get your powder ready blend out your eyes and you just set immediately so what i'm going to do is load up my powder puff so i'm literally just rubbing it in and i'm getting the sides and the reason why i get the size of the powder puff is because when it touches if a part of the powder puff touches your makeup and it doesn't have any powder on it, there's a danger that it might lift up the product on your face and disrupt things and cause patches and we don't want that. I've loaded up the powder puff like this and I'm gonna blend one side of my face first. So I'm literally just blending the creases. So I'm going straight in with that powder puff and we are literally Tapping all over the under eye. Be sure to really push that into lines underneath my eyes because I don't want anything separating. Look at the difference crazy Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder is gonna do it every single time for me now I'm gonna do the same thing with the other eye and I always look up when I'm setting my under eye I know it looks it looks very weird but when you look up the creases underneath your eyes um, basically flatten out somewhat and so it ensures that you're not you're really pushing in that powder underneath your eyes gorgeous. Going in with my powder puff, this time I don't use too much because um, it's my forehead and there aren't like any like lines or anything there. And because this is a translucent powder I can basically take the remainder a little higher. Very quickly I have gone in with the MAC Studio Fix Plus Foundation in the shade NC47 and I've gone in with this Jewel 
um, ended hourglass brush. Um, and I just use the bigger side and I'm just using that to basically set my foundation. I'm not using too much and this brush is quite flexible, it's not very dense, which means it's just dis just <laughs> oh my gosh, distributing that powder um very softly um and not can you hear that there's the birds um it's genuinely nearly six o'clock six a.m in the morning Ciao. if i didn't say i use the powder puff i use this end because i got some foundation on this end but i use that end with the same charlotte toby powder and set this area here around my mouth as well as this area here that i've highlighted i'm literally just going over the sides of my mouth with that Studio Fix Plus foundation powder. I'm going to apply some blush. I'm going in with that same Patrick Tar She's a Doll blush. To do so, I'm going in with this Smashbox Precise Blush Tool. I think this is the first Smashbox tool I've used today because I literally cannot do my makeup without a Smashbox tool. I'm literally just using that and I'm not going in with too much. And I'm just tapping that right here and I'm making sure, ooh, not too much, not too much, that I'm going up into my temples. Just really concentrate that product right here. I just remembered that I haven't set my contour but we'll get to that in due time. Yeah. Next thing that I am going to do is mid-tone blushing. I literally cannot do my makeup without it and I'm so so glad that makeup by Legs put me on because it's really a game changer. I have just discovered the perfect mid-tone blush. So remember I told you guys that when you're mid-tone blushing essentially what you can do is take the blush that you've just used and simply mix it with the under eye powder that you would use or are going to use or have used. If I was doing that, I would basically go in with the powder side of the Patrick Tarte blush that I just applied and I would mix that with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade number 2 which I use to set my highlighted areas of my face, especially underneath my eyes. But I have just discovered the perfect mid-tone blush colour. Um, what? Like, this was sitting here, and I really, I really didn't think to use this. Anyway, this is the Doll Beauty Pretty Fly Blush in the shade Costa Del Doll. That is the colour. So this is the A22 brush from their Makeup by Ariel X Morphe brush collection. And look at the difference, you should be able to see it, this side and this side. Oh my gosh, this side looks a lot more blended and cohesive and there's literally a seamless blend from my concealer to the mid-tone blush shade to my actual blush shade. I love, okay, so I'm going to do the same thing, just taking a little bit because we don't need too much. And I'm pushing away from my eye. And the reason why I'm pushing away from my eye is I don't really like underneath my eyes to be pink. I don't find it flattering on my skin tone. But by all means, do as you please and desire. And this is the only time you'll see me swipe on my face once there's powders down. Um, the other day, Nas kindly gifted me a really, really lovely package. Um, so I do have a Nas matte bronzer, um, and I have it in the shade Karimba. Um, the Plastic Boy, aka Gary, um, he kindly put me onto that, um, and it's really, really nice. Um, but today I want to try the shade Punta, Punta Canna, Chow. if that isn't the pronunciation, I'm so sorry. But this is what it looks like. Um, this is the Patrick Tar brush and it's the Four Face One brush, um, that's what it says on the side. Um, there's a mirror in there so I'm just going to look in here. 
Okay, so this isn't matte. This has some sort of shimmer, um, like glitter reflex in it. So I'm literally just using that to blend. Okay, so that's added a really nice warmth. Wow. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. And then just right here. A little bit on the chin. That was really, really nice. Oh my gosh. I love this. I think I thought it was too light, but it's actually a perfect shade. Wow. And it's not as shiny as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be very, not shiny, but I thought it was going to be very um, glittery. Um, like I said, I'm going for matte skin today, so that would have ruined the vibes, but it's perfect. It's added the perfect balance um, and amount of warmth to my skin without it being excessive. Just kiss. Thank you so much, Nance. I love y'all for real. Okay, so there's a couple of things that I've done off camera. One of them being I blended out the concealer on my nose. I literally just tapped, like literally tapped all the way down, up, down, until I was happy with how it looked. Um, and I used this brush. This is a Beauty Bay brush. It's from an eyeshadow set. I think it's a face and eyeshadow set. Um, it's from the brand Beauty Bay and sold on the Beauty Bay website. As always, I will link everything down below, including the tools in order of usage in the description box. I went in with the same Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Finish Flawless Powder in the shade number two, and I used the powder puff. I used that to literally gently set that, that concealer on my nose. The next thing that I did do off camera was I went in with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade um, Butterscotch and I used that with the same brush that I used before on my nose and I've just I'm blending that on my lids. This is literally the amount that I used on this side and I blended it out. Um, so I'm going to do the same on this side. Um, so I'm going for grey, it is raining here in London, so it's very fitting, very grey outside. Um, but also, I just, I love silver eyeshadow and I'm loving the way grey looks in general. And even though I am a committed gold jewellery babe, I'm actually considering picking up some sort of silver jewellery. Because silver is in right now, if you haven't realized and i want to be a part i want to be a part of it i never really liked silver on me too much because i'm warm golden in like undertone in terms of my skin complexion you know gold jewelry um looks very good on my skin i forgot i was recording then for a bit um <laughs> i'm going to set my eyelid girl what where is it there is i hate when i put something down and i can't see it but it's literally right in front of me anyway going in with the same charlotte tilbury airbrush for this finish powder in the shade number two going in with this kaleidos um brush this was kindly gifted to me along with a bunch of other things that i'm yet to try um but this is the h2 precision highlighter brush but i'm actually just going to use this to set that concealer that i've just put on my lids and i've done those creases but i don't want any creasing I am going for a matte shadow today. Um, so just taking that Charlotte Tilbury powder and we're really just patting that on my lid. I'm gonna be careful because sometimes when I put eyeshadow on my lid or when I put powder on my lid and I tap like this, what happens is the water from my eyelid will basically push down and ruin my concealer at the bottom there. So I'm going in with my Jordana Tisha Nude Divinity Palette. I love this palette, love it so much. Like I said, it is the only nude palette that you'll need. I used it in the look before this that I posted on here. I just love, I love. It's got all the shades that you'll ever need. Perfect for like transition shades. 
um, the main colours that I'm going to use in here, like the light grey, there isn't a light grey in here. So I'm literally just going to slightly warm up that crease area. Using the shade right here, this is the shade Divinity. Right here. And it's helped to blend everything together. So just going in on the other side with the same thing. This is what we look like right now. And I don't think I want to deepen it any further than that. I think I'd literally just want to leave it there and then just tap on my grey and blend that in. I'm going in with two shades and unfortunately they're not in the same palette. It is hard to find a grey in palettes. Not a lot of eyeshadow palettes have them in them. Not a lot of brands do them for some reason. Um, but you can always count on me by Mitchell to come through with those amazing beautiful shades um, and so I'm going to be using two different shades from two different palettes both from Made by Mitchell so the first palette is the um, milk palette the second palette is the feet on the grounds palette so I'm using the two grey shades in both um, there is an ever so slight difference between the two this shade thinks from the milk palette this is the lighter shade. Imagine I drop this and break the mirror. Silly, silly me. Anyway, using this gray shade here, which is the darker shade. And this is the shade Descent from the Feet on the Grounds palette. So I'm gonna go in with Descent first. I can't use the mirror on this because it's bad luck to look in broken mirrors. Girl, I'll be for real. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going in with the ME4 brush. This is a Made by Mitchell brush as well. And I'm picking up this scent from the Made by Mitchell Feet on the Grounds palette. So that is the darker grey. Where's your mirror? I'm literally just tapping this. Ooh. I love pigment, oh my gosh. Made by Mitchell have some of the best eyeshadow formulas out there. Honestly, their palettes are amazing. Not taking that too high because I'm going to need to blend it. I'm just going to take this um, A11 brush from the Makeup by Ariel X Morphe collection. I'm literally just blending that into it's literally like 6 20 a.m. I'm kind of losing my voice. Go back in with Divinity from the Jordana T-Shirt Nude Divinity Palette. And I'm taking that same brush. I'm just using that to blend that out. This is what we're looking like. I think I prefer, I want it a bit lighter because it looks quite, a little too dark. Lost for words. I'm gonna go in with the first gray. So the lighter gray, Binks, from the Milk Palette. Okay, yeah, this is it. This is what I needed. I needed a lighter grey. Mm -hmm. Perfect. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Take this colour right here. This colour right here, it's like a, like a nude brown, neutral nude, um, it's called Meow, this is called Meow, that's what it literally, that's what it literally says. Same brush, and we're literally just using that to help to blend all of that together. Okay, so I didn't actually want around it to be too dark, but it is coming out dark. I'm not mad at it, but I might lighten it up just a little bit. 
in with a little bit more Sphinx on top to really brighten. that shade. Off camera I've gone in with an A20 brush, again Makeup by Arrow X Morphe, and I went in with this cream shade right here called Salt Bay. Um, it's a really nice cream and I literally just tapped that using this brush right here in the front of my eye. I'm really starting to get tired, I'm not gonna lie. See, and I'm doing silly things like this. I think I'm actually gonna go in with Priestess right here. I'm just taking Priestess. I'm gonna take it right here. So I did a few things off camera, um, especially to my eyes. So I basically went in with Binks, which is the lighter gray, just at the bottom of my eye. I forgot what it's called. It's literally seven o'clock in the morning. I'm tapping out. <laughs> but I literally just um, brush some of that underneath my eye and then just blended it out and with some mascara on my top and bottom lashes so the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Mascara that is what I used I also added some lashes these are the Jordana T-Shirt JT2 lashes these are also vegan lashes so they're definitely a shout then for my signature beauty spots, I went in with the KVD Tattoo Eyeliner. Girl, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm really tired at this point. So I'm literally just going to quickly do a lip combo very quickly for lip liner. I'm just going in with this MAC um, lip liner in the shade Cork. I've quickly gone in with this NYX. This is Milky Gloss and this is in the shade Cookies and Milk. I do feel like I want a little bit more pigment in the middle. I'm gonna go in with this Jordana T-shirt gloss. This is in the shade Friend Zone. Okay. I just realized that I didn't spray any setting spray or set my face. <sighs> It's actually very hard to film like multiple pieces of content at the same time. I filmed two reviews and a tutorial for TikTok and Instagram and a brow tutorial and all this thing. It's literally eight o'clock in the morning. It is 10 minutes to 8 a.m. Quickly off camera, I went in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush for this finish um, setting spray. This is a new product. You can find my thoughts on TikTok. Um, I'll be doing reviews here and there only of things that I buy and care to review really. Um, but this is the new Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Brightening Flawless Finish Powder in the shade Tan to Deep. As I said, you can find my thoughts on TikTok. Um, <clears throat> I'm just conscious of time because I literally have three minutes left on my memory card. And I use the same Trig Well Powder Puff underneath my eyes, on my T-zone, and over here. Like I said, I did a demo on TikTok anyway. This is the finished look. I really do hope you like this look. I like how it turned out. It's very matte. It came out the way I wanted to. I really do love the hourglass um ambient soft glow foundation and the brush it's beautiful as well as the new charlotte tilbury airbrush brightening flawless finish powder gorgeous 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 i've never worn or tried gray eyeshadow like this and i love i really really do love i think it came out the way i wanted it to and yeah i'm pretty happy with how it came out i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something please let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and what you'd like to see from me um and let me know if you'll be picking up any of the things that i've recommended i really do like hearing what you guys end up buying um from my recommendations and my tutorials. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video um, if you do like it. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any content from me. Also, follow me on the rest of my socials for even more content. See you in the next one, but until then, take care and bye.